The Think Tool diagnostic equipment is also available with a massive range of accessories, and most of these are actually included with the Think Tool Max, also known as the Think Tool S20. So, we're going to take a look at some of these accessories, and I'd love to know what you think. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Think Tool video scope. So, this is Think Tool's own. Um, bore scope, which is compatible with all of their ThinkTool diagnostic machines. So even on the ThinkTool Mini, you can use the video scope. If we just hit that Think module there, we've got video scope here. Pretty much the same for the Master 2. We've got that module option just here, and the video scope is just there. We're going to be using the ThinkTool Max or S20. So if we go into ThinkCar here, we've again got that module option where we can access the video scope. So opening it up to take a look inside. Again, really well packaged. We've got the USB bore scope here. So that's quite small. We'll see if we can get it down inside the spark plug hole. And on the side of the USB, there's like a little wheel just there, like a volume control button. So that's for changing the brightness of the uh, LED lights that's on the end. Also inside the box, we've got this little uh, mirror, prism, periscope. Basically this will screw onto the end of here. If you just remove the little blanking cap that's on there already. And that will then allow you to kind of look at a 90 degree angle. So keep that safe, that'll be good for looking inside cylinders. So what we're going to do is connect it up to the USB port on the side of the unit. First go, that's pretty good for USB. And now we can see that we've got the light on the end of the bore scope there and the video scope has gone red. Okay, allow ThinkTool Max to access Super Eyes. Yes. And there we go. We've now got our bore scope live. So let's go and get in the engine bay and see what we think. Okay, so here we are, and you can see there that it's quite dependent on which way round you have it turned. Personally, what I would like to do is just put like a line across the top of the kind of optical bit so you know which way is facing up, otherwise that could get confusing if you were turning it around the wrong way. So let's um, hit record, and you'll see there that at a distance the quality isn't so great but if you then kind of get nice and close we can see that this is what this thing is really designed for close-up inspection not for kind of doing things far away so if we now just tone down that light so that's the light turned off you can see there that in this workshop light here, it's actually pretty good. And this is down the spark plug hole without the light. So let's now turn the light up. Okay, let's get down. Pretty good quality there. So these are the numbers on the side of the ABS module. They're pretty clear to see there. Let's take a spark plug out. Okay, so the light's on. Let's go down there and see what we can see down there. Okay. And what I do like about this is it's got like a flexible cable that has some sort of like memory. So you can kind of bend it in places and you could potentially like wrap it around something and, and go on a road test really if you wanted not inside the cylinder of course but let's put the um, little mirror on and see what that looks like so the mirror does have like a little plastic film on there and just you want to be very careful to remove that without scratching the mirror itself there we are so we can now screw the mirror on Okay, and we're in. And what we're looking at just there, look, you can see one of the valves. See the valve edges there? So it takes a bit of working around and, and trying to 
work out which way around it is because now this this is the the top okay that's the underside of the cylinder head so but we can actually go in there and see that stuff certainly quite a useful tool to have especially the way the cars are going now where everything is just kind of buried isn't it you know and uh, to get in there and have a proper look there is the auxiliary belt down the front of the engine so if you then want to review your recordings or share them go to settings go down to screen recorder and these are then all of your recorded videos so i've actually got a memory card in there with some old video on there so if we just go on to uh, this one here check this one out here look we can see that's where we were just going into the vehicle and looking around there actually records sound as well um, from here you can share it so if you hit that share button you can either share by bluetooth or email which is a nice feature to be able to share with your customers if you want to get them some uh, kind of diagnostic evidence to show them before proceeding